Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to inspect starter motor armature by simply using a multimeter. Now, there are different tests that you can perform by using a multimeter on a starter motor armature. Basically, we are going to inspect the well beingness of the coil. As you can see, here is the commutator segment. There are electrical windings that are originated from the commutator segments and they travel through the winding, and these are all interconnected. Now, it seems there is only one wire coming from each commutator, but internally there is another round of uh, coil. One line is going this way, and there is another line below this that can travel in the other direction. So anyways, all these wires are interconnected. As you can see, a line that goes here, it comes back somewhere and then connected to another commutator segment. Now, in order to do this test, first, it is a good idea to lightly sand this so that we can have a good electrical reading. You can use a sandpaper to clean this surface. Make sure it is shiny like this. It's a good idea to clean it. Cleaning this will make sure we'll have a accurate reading. Otherwise, if there are some dirt and debris that will result in incorrect reading. So simply have a fine sandpaper and simply scratch the surface of the commutator segment so that you can have a good reading and good contact surface for the multimeter. You can use any ordinary multimeter for this test, but simply make sure that you are putting the resistance value on the lower side when testing the electrical winding resistance, select the lowest range on your multimeter because we are expecting very minimum resistance reading for this particular armature. Always make sure that the starter motor commutator is well cleaned. For example, this commutator segment requires a little cleaning Let's have a sun, let's clean the gap in between. You can use a hacksaw blade, old hacksaw blade, in order to clean the gap between the commutator segments. You can clean it like so. Impurities that accumulate between these gaps, they have a possibility of uh, short-circuiting the commutator segment, so always make sure that this is well cleaned. You can see how much foreign material is accumulated in this gap. Make sure you clean them thoroughly. Otherwise, it will result in poor reading of the resistance value. Now it is thoroughly cleaned. Now there are three tests we can do. There are three tests. Put your multimeter on ohms reading. This one is a self-adjusting multimeter, but if you are using this type of multimeter, always select the lowest range. For example, on this particular multimeter, you can select the 200 ohm reading because we are expecting small resistance reading and then go for reading the resistance value. Now, let's begin. There are three tests that we can perform. The first test is the 180 degree test. The 180 degree test dictates measuring the resistance of the commutator segments that are 180 degree apart. First, make sure that the multimeter is reading nice. It is reading. So, measure the resistance between the opposite multimeter, I mean commutator terminals. 
0 0.5 ohms, 0 0.5 ohms again. Cleaning is very key, guys. The resulting figure should not be really matter, but it should be about the same. So as you can see, most of them are reading 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. They are all about the same. So this is the 180 degree test. If there is a significant drop in resistance, that indicates a short circuit within the winding. If there is a sudden spike, that indicates there is a broken connection between the windings. So that is what we expect. And the second test that we are going to conduct is bar-to-bar -bar test. Bar-to-bar -bar test is where we measure resistance value in the neighboring commutator segments. Right here we have one commutator and we read resistance value among neighboring commutator segments. The figure really doesn't matter. We are also measuring adjacent commutators and we should be expecting about the same reading. Just like previous, if there is a sudden drop in value, it's reading now 0.5, if there is a sudden drop in ohm value, it indicates a short circuit. If there is a spike, if there is a sharp spike or sudden spike, it indicates a broken winding circuit. So this is the second test. This is called the bar-to-bar -bar test. So you do this thoroughly for every commutator segment. You do this measurement. And finally, the final test that we are going to do is we are going to measure resistance between this housing of the armature and the commutator. It should not be grounding. So that is called the grounding test. Just simply put one multimeter lead on the armature. It could be on the iron core or it could be on the shaft and then measure resistance. It should read infinity. It should read infinity on all of the commutator segments. As you can see, right now it is reading infinity on our case. No reading should be registered whatsoever. There should be no reading. If you are using a multimeter with a range selector, put it on mega ohm and uh, measure resistance between the housing and the commutator, and you should be reading infinity as well. This is called the grounding test. If failed any of the test, it means the commutator segment or winding has failed, and uh, it should either be rewinded or it should be replaced. For our case, this particular armature is good. All it needs is some cleaning, just as I, as I have polished with the sandpaper, I, sh I should do a detailed polishing in order to clear the commutator segments. It should be shiny like so. If it is shiny like this, then we can have a very nice electrical conductivity. So these are the three tests. Remember, there are three tests that you can do with a multimeter, the 180 degree test, the bar-to-bar -bar test and the grounding test where you measure resistance between the commutator segment and the housing. If you find resistance reading when, when selecting, when reading from the commutator to the housing, if you find there is a reading, it indicates there is an internal short. It indicates there is a grounding. The insulation that is preventing these electrical wires from contacting the iron core or the shaft has damaged. So that means this armature has to be replaced or it has to be serviced. There are shops that do rewinding of the armature. You can either have it rewinded or you can have it replaced as a whole. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you regarding a simple multimeter test on the armature. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new here, do consider subscribing and turn on notification so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.